Well, welcome to the roof that uh, is on top of our um, flat, apartment, villa, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, the Atlantic Ocean's right behind it. So we're going to go for a little wander inside. But first, just to follow up and give you a, a, a better idea of where it precisely is in relation to the road and what have you. Let's go back outside here. And um, I'm gonna walk backwards now because the sun's quite bright. Whoa. Okay, see there's, that's where the sun sets, sets just over there. Um, that's the, the viewpoint where I was at, but, but there was nobody else at. There, I mean, dead easy to see the sunset, and even from where I am now, the sunset's right there, so that's easy. And of course, here, you know, um, people can bring their cars up to here, just get out, stand here, and and uh, view the sunset. And there's our place right there. So uh, you can see how, um, if if one is looking for a sunset view. This location is good, even even not at the place itself, even just here in this car park area or on the top of that, looking out that way. And beyond as well, I'm sure. I mean, I just went as far as the, the railings. You know, there's, there's more beyond that. Um, there's the village up there. I should say, actually, that we went over to the east side of the island today and uh, got rained on quite heavily, actually. And apparently, as a general rule, um, it's more likely that there will be rain on the, uh, if there's any rain on the deer, on the east side of the island. And obviously there's some on this side as well. Um, and um, Lisa did say something like, coming here in winter, perhaps the, the western side of, of the island is, 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 is um, from the point of view of the weather, the, the nicer part of the island to visit. Um, I mean, there'll be some rain, I, I would think, but, but not as much as the eastern part. And perhaps the eastern part of the island might be better to visit in the summer. Oh, there's a dog there. I think he's going to start barking. Anyway, hello. There's the car down there. And they say there is an entrance to the property down that way. And well, let's go over this and show you. down there and around to the um the door over there oh there's somebody guarding Whoa. hi <laughs> and, uh, i don't know how to say good evening mom dears good morning from tardes good afternoon good evening bom can make a guess but anyway uh, so there again you, you this is facing east so there's i guess that's from chow I'm, I'm now beginning to wonder if from from chow is the other side of that mountain, and perhaps that mountain is some sort of um, barrier um, that separates different sort of uh, microclimates. Not entirely sure about that. Just sort of um, speculating. Um, anyway, and of course, well, I'll get into that later. So let's head back. Let's head back. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> how are you? Okay. <laughs> how do you say good night? You know, speaking way. Okay, so bom dia, bom tarde. Un, un, dos, tres. Okay, and so um, bom dia, bom tarde, bom noce. Hoje, quinta feira. Quinta feira, what's that? 15 Hoje, uh, in castellano. Oh, Castellano. Oh. Lone, lone, Marte, Mierco, ah, Hoy, Jueve. You still have a Espanol? Yeah. Okay, so on Espanol. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Uh, uh, hoje, buenas tardes. Uh, on, on uh, agora, buenas tardes. De manhã, bom dia. Okay. De, quando começa a, a ficar de noite, boa noite. 
Bon note. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. ok, perfect. De manhã até meio-dia, bom dia. Meio a uma da tarde, boa tarde. Ah, ok, ok, manhã, manhã. Depois, seis, seis, sete, mais ou menos, boa noite. Ok. Quando começa a ficar de noite, boa noite. Ok, ok, obrigado. Ok. <laughs> obrigado, bye okay. bye. Ok. I, I think I kind of got that. Um, I mean, both Lisa and I speak some, um, some Spanish. And, um, I mean, it's not too dissimilar from, uh, maybe a, a, a non-Spanish or a non-Portuguese point of view that um, there there's, appears to be a similarity and whether or not that is the actual reality or not is another matter. Anyway, but he was the fellow who was doing the gardening. Anyway, so there you see the car. So from where we park the car, one can walk inside the property to the rooms or come up here and then through this door here, which I left open. Um, normally it's closed, of course. And we have keys. Anyway, so if if um if if we did walk the other way, you know, after parking the car, we'd come out down the bottom there, and then we can go around the um around the front, and there you see that infinity pool and that. And I should say that there's three. Let's call them flats. Here we we've got the top one, so we're higher up. Um, I think that's a, a smaller, probably less expensive one there because they don't have the same um, sort of balconies as we do. And of course, they don't have the sunset view. I mean, we can see the sunset from the kitchen or from the balcony um, that leads out from the kitchen. Um, we'll go there in a couple of minutes. Um, but if I was staying in that one and really wanted to see the sunset view, couldn't see it from the flat. And I, I, I just simply um, you know, walk out here and, and stand there, or, or, I'd, or I'd go to the top up there and, and watch sunset from there. I mean, it seems nice, that, you know, to be able to, to see sunset from our own kitchen or one of our own balconies. I mean, you know, it's nice, isn't it? I mean, is it worth the extra money? Yeah, maybe. Anyway, so let's take my footwear off and head in. And, um, yeah, so it's open about sunsets from the kitchen. This is what I mean. Okay, here's the kitchen. Hello. And here's, I think that Lisa's making coffee. Yeah, so we're actually in the kitchen now. There you can see Lisa. And there is the sunset. I mean, obviously the sun's still up there. It's probably another hour to go. Um, but yeah, so we can be standing in the kitchen watching sunset. Alternatively, this is like a living room. Uh, Lisa is set up for her, her work there. So we can come out onto this balcony, because we have two balconies. There's the other balcony. That um, is, is accessible from, from the bedroom. Um, but from this balcony, see, nice. Nice table and a couple of chairs. And then... Uh, here we are from the balcony. There's the sunset right there. There's the kitchen there. There's um, that there is where the cars can go and people can go. And at the top, you can walk up the top there. And so, from the point of view, watch the sunset. Um, you know, it's a nice part of the island to be for sure. Definitely. Anyway, so uh, yeah, where are we? So this is uh, these are our two balconies. The one I'm on now. And that one's um, approached from the bedroom, which I shall go to now. So this is our uh, living room. And um, okay, here's the loo. And again, we've got a, so from the bath stuff, um, one could just be in the bath and look out the window, and that's the view. So that's very nice. Come out of here into the, um, the bedroom and this view is facing east a similar view to a few minutes ago it's pretty isn't it but you know when when rain 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 is teeming down 
Um, it's probably not so pretty. And here's the other balcony. And uh, again, I, I suppose one can watch sunset from here, actually, come to think about it. So, yeah, but say, like, if, if one was staying in that flat just there around the corner, okay, don't get the sunset views, but then just go outside. So, you know, how fussy do you want to be? Anyway, so, um, yeah, so this is, um, as far as we know, this is the most uh, expensive flat of the four or five of them. Um, maybe because it's higher up, I suppose. Perhaps. I haven't been in any of the others. But yeah. Oh, I smell coffee. Honey's making coffee. Make, you're making coffee, right? This is a kitchen we've got. Normal kitchen, you know. Da -da. But as you may have noticed, outside there's no sign saying hotel or anything like that. Um, I haven't seen that at all, actually. So maybe they're not allowed to sort of advertise like that. Um, oh, and the other thing, the buses. Right, I think I did mention that in... Uh, I hadn't seen any buses yet. I've seen plenty of bus stops, but not actually any buses. Did see one this morning, first one. And apparently the last three days have been uh, Carnival. That finished yesterday. And during Carnival, there were either no buses or there were very, very few. So that might explain why um, we didn't see any. Not until this morning. So, so um, there is definitely some sort of bus service. Um, still going to be a little bit, you know, still going to lose a bit of time, I think. But if one, you know, simply adapts one's plans to, to fit in with the bus departures, then, you know, that helps. Um, but definitely, from many points of view, a car is a um, big help. Um, so if, you, if you're in a manual, we've got a Fiat Panda, which is, awesome. you know, it's, it doesn't have a lot of power. And um, going up, up these hills, you know, can be a bit tricky if you're not used to driving a manual. That's for sure. Anyway, so that's it, I think, from this video. I think this has given you a pretty good idea of um, the place where we are staying at and, uh, and sort of approximately where it is. Say so the, the coast, the south, that's just the south, south coast just down there. And we're about, um, I, I guess we're just slightly, I think to our east is, is Punta do Sol down there. So we're a couple of miles, maybe, maybe a mile west of, of um, um, Punta do Sol, but we're up, we're up because it's on the coast and, you know, we are not. Um, yeah, so th this gives you a good idea, I think. Um, I mean, if any of you are, are really are interested in, in knowing the name of this place, then right as, as I speak to you now, I, I don't know the name of this place. Um, so, um, yeah, just, put, you know, put, you know, send me a message, put something in, you know, in the comments. Uh, and um, if I'm able to, I, I will definitely let you know. We've Lisa found it on Airbnb, but again, I, I don't know the name, but all right. 